It does not get any lazier or tastier than this. You are going to love my butternut squash red lentil doll. It is so simple. Just throw everything into the Instant Pot, turn it on, and you're done. I'll show you how to do it right now. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. You know the purpose of my channel is to make eating healthy food simpler and less requiring of any thought at all. You know what I mean? You gotta just be able to walk in the kitchen and whip something up without even using your brain. And this red lentil doll will get you there because all you've gotta do is throw some things into the pot and turn it on. You don't even have to chop. I'm gonna do a little bit of chop, but I'll explain why. If you like Indian food, this one tastes restaurant quality delicious and you can serve it over rice. You can add some greens to it if you want to. The sky's the limit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on in, I'll show you just how lazy and tasty this one is. Y'all, the first step is to throw two cups of red lentils into your Instant Pot. I'm using the six quart Instant Pot, by the way. That's pretty much the perfect size for this dish, in my opinion. You can rinse your red lentils first, unless they're already clean and ready to go, no big deal. I'm gonna chop you up a yellow onion and throw it into the pot. Normally, you can get a 10 ounce bag of frozen yellow onion already diced up. They sell it at all the major grocery stores, and you just dump the 10 ounce bag, 10, 12 ounce, whatever, it's about the equivalent of one onion. Dump it in and you're done. You don't even have to get the cutting board out or anything. But I forgot to buy it. So we're gonna chop an onion real quick, no big deal. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna get cooked up nice with all these lentils. Everything's gonna become kind of like a homogenous dish. There it is, chopped up throw it in the pot and let's move on. Next up, I've got a bag, just like I was saying about the frozen onion, I've got one bag of butternut squash. This is also probably 10 ounces, yup. And that would probably be like a half a butternut squash if you really wanted to use a fresh butternut squash. But this stuff is so easy to work with. It's already chopped up, ready to go. Let's open this bag up and let's just dump it in. Look at this big, beautiful pieces. But all this butternut squash is gonna become a mush. You don't have to worry about any of the texture or size of choppings or anything like that. That for the squash because it's just gonna become like the, the mushy perfection of the doll. Did I get that right, Reeves? <laughs> the red lentils and the butternut squash make it really creamy. It's very creamy. This is such a good dish. You're gonna love it. As you can see, there are quite a few spices going into here. A lot of my Indian dishes do have lots of different spices. First up, I'm throwing in some ground garlic. This is just garlic powder, granulated garlic, no Look big deal. Look at that deal. little smile. Then we've got some ginger powder, dried ginger powder. We have some cumin, I love cumin. A little turmeric. Then we've got some coriander powder, throw that on in. Some curry powder, this is just your favorite curry blend, whatever it is. Here I've got some Indian chili powder. You don't have to add the chili powder if you don't want it spicy. And then I like to cut it with a little bit of sweet. We're gonna throw some tomato paste in. This is the Well Your World date powder. It's for sale right now at wellyourworld.com. Check it out. This is a healthy, not processed sugar replacement. It's a whole date dried and ground up, perfect for this dish. So here's the thing, with all these spice blends, you saw with all those different spices, if this becomes a dish that you like to make a lot, you can pre-batch this. This is a small mason jar that I use for my baked ziti recipe. And I put in all the spices, a little bit of lentils and wild rice, and then all you do is dump this into the Instant Pot. You can have like five or 10 of those jars ready, dump it in, throw in your squash and your onion, and boom, turn it on and you're ready to go. I'm wondering when you're gonna give us that Instant Pot baked ziti recipe. Oh, maybe it'll be coming soon in the future. That's one of my favorite recipes. You're gonna have to really beg for that one. Now I've got a couple tablespoons worth of tomato paste. You could use a whole jar of the little tomato paste, but this is probably more like half of one of the little six ounce jars. Now I've got five cups of water. Here's four plus one, throw that into the pot. And then I like the, a little bit of soy milk or whatever your favorite non-dairy milk is. I throw a cup of that in as well. Gives it a little bit of a creamier flavor too and boom, let's give it a stir. If your lentils were wet, you wanna definitely make sure to stir them because red lentils are notorious for getting clumpy if you rinse them and then let them sit. So just give this a stir. Boom, close it up. We're putting it on five minutes at high pressure and then we'll give it like five minutes to do a natural release and then you can just manually release the end and eat up. Well, that's going in the Instant Pot. If you wanna get fancy and put some fresh cilantro on, here I have a little bowl. I'm just gonna chop up a little cilantro and then when you serve a bowl of this over some rice or whatever, you could sprinkle on a little bit of chopped cilantro just to get that fresh herb finish in your bowl. It's really tasty like that, but I'll be honest with you, nine times out of 10, I do not throw on the fresh cilantro. I just throw everything in the Instant Pot, let it rip, and then I serve it over some leftover rice because I love to make my rice in a big batch and then keep it in the fridge in a Tupperware like this. You know, I love to cook rice like pasta, so I'll just heat up a big pot of water, dump in the rice and boil it for 30 minutes, strain out the water, and then close it back up in that pot 
and let it steam for about 20 minutes, no heat, so that the rice can dry itself out. Oh, another little tip I wanted to mention, I get a lot of questions about with red lentils in the Instant Pot, some people worry about the burn warning coming on. As long as you give it a good stir, I have not had the burn warning be a problem on this at all. So that's it, we'll be right back with some dal. It's time. Ooh. Oh, look at this beautiful dish. Check this out, as soon as you start stirring it up, Everything just turns into this nice mush. There's some tomato paste we can stir in. That's no big deal. If not everything got stirred in when you closed it, it's okay, you stir it now. And now it's just this beautiful creamy stew. And remember, this is all totally SOS free. No added salt, oil, or sugar. We didn't need salt because we use lots of Indian herbs and spices. We don't need oil, it's useless. We don't need sugar. We use a little bit of my date powder, which was perfect. So now let's give it a taste, shall we? So I just reheated some of that rice I showed you, and then I just dumped this right on top. Let's sprinkle on a little bit of that cilantro. I already know what I'm gonna think. Oh boy! It is so good. I love Indian food. This is the tastiest. It's starch on starch. You get it? You could right now, while it's hot, when you open it up, throw in a couple handfuls of fresh spinach and it'll just wilt in. You always say to do it, but you're never the one doing it. What, the greens? Yeah. Whatever, I put greens in all kinds of things. Y'all, if you wanna get hold of this recipe, it's right down below in the description box, all the measurements and everything. Buy some of our date powder, try it out as a like, little bit of an acid neutralizer in lots of your dishes. I love it in oatmeal too. Click over here for some more videos and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.